<laughs> nah, you guys, I gotta share this. I gotta share this, you guys. I can't, I can't. I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna be quick. A friend of mine, yeah. Okay, wait, sorry, sorry. Hi, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know if this is the right time for you to watch a video about me, but boy, I gotta clear my heart. See what I'm saying? Yes, son. Where's the key for the car, please? In my jacket and the pocket. This is, this is how it goes there. Anyhow, welcome to the channel. Don't know if it's the right time for you because right now I'm a bit troubled and disturbed and I want to clear it off my mind and you get me. Um, just kind of like let people know as well. Like if you're going through this circumstance, yeah, it's burn a fire to people, blood. I don't care who they are. So a friend of mine, yeah, she's, um, she's concerned that there's a rumour, obviously, with you know we could be going back into another lockdown so she's had this idea for a time and she wants to now she's tested it a little bit but she really wants to take it to the scale of where now this is what she was going to do if she's end up in that circumstance again you know because where she was working at the time they had to shut for a bit and you know obviously she's returned back but this is what she's doing and plus it's her passion okay moving from it that's the storyline so she reaches out or her friend reached out, some some boy boy Nazareth friend, I don't know, but reached out and was like, yeah, boom, I haven't heard from you in a bit. Just checking up on you, you know, how's the children, all of that good stuff. And in return, her message replied back was, yeah, I'm doing great. You know, this is what I'm doing. You, you know, the children are fine. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's blooming. Um, it's going well. I'm being well connected. All the good stuff. And instead of the brethren coming back and saying, oh my God, that's amazing. You've always wanted to do it or whatever the, the blouse and skirt it may be. Mm -mm. And what the brethren come back with, three or four question. How are you going to be able to do it? Because you ain't got the space. But it's a messy thing and you've got children. How are you going to post it? Because you don't drive. And where are you going to get the money to get the bits that you need? Brr. I didn't know I was in Dragon's Den. That's how I read that when she swore did it to me. I didn't even know you was going to the bank to ask for a loan, like, and you had to show them your business plan. I'm trying to figure it out. And, you know, at the end of the day, these are some of the things we talked to her about in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're new to business or you're new to entrepreneurship, you know, it comes with a lot. And a lot of people don't realize that. But it's good that she's seeing it in the early stages that not everyone's going to support your journey, not everyone's going to support your path, but they need to respect your vision. And that's that's where I've got the problem. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? My son never liked that. You're disrespecting people's vision, blood. If this is what she feels, this is what she's, you know, designed to do, how dare you? Who are you to do that? I got vexed. I'm telling you, I got vexed. I had to go drop something off to my sister. And because I got the message as I was leaving out, but it was some long article blood i ain't got time for that right now i'm on the go so i've read enough lines to get understand you know what she was saying the whole journey i felt it from my daughter blood i was like why are people like that daughter of mama's why why are people like that why people can't just support you in what you're doing and if they feel like they got to have an opinion or a verdict like you're in court and they want to judge you on what you is that you want to do why don't they shut their mouth well, why can't they just celebrate you for a minute and wait a couple of days and then come and say, you know, I was thinking about what you were saying and I'm so happy. Why has your deliverance got to be so negative? And then you want people to hang out with you. Don't hang out. Don't. That's why I don't hang out. No way. And I'll be the first one to RSVP you, blood, if I ain't coming to nothing you're keeping from. I'm not being around that energy, blood. Energy is important, fam. I'm not doing it. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's not there's nothing that's going to be able to disturb my peace, not less, you know, for some circumstances, whatever it may be. I don't know what God's plan is. I'm just living. That's what he told me to do. Live my life. Live. Live. You understand? And it's not once I've been told that. So, respectively, that's what I'm going to do. But it's just upsetting because my friend is like really broken hearted because this is somebody she's known from nappy days. You know what I'm saying? And 
this is the support you're giving. I mean, she's not even asking you to purchase nothing. She's just telling you, bro, you asked for an update, gave it to you. And it's like, unfortunately, she had to reply back before she had come into the Facebook, you know, um, chat. So it's kind of like she had responded and it's a bit, it, you know, like once you've done it, it's a bit late because the person's read it as well. It wasn't like it was still like, you know, whatever the tick, tick thing or whatever the blouse not is um, that she was able to kind of like retract that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I've done that many a times. Retract that that blood no blood no 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 no. so respectively it's one of them things where i don't know man i I've, I've said it you know for those that's been around me enough really or communicates with me like 2022 i'm not on this not speaking how i feel no more i'm not doing it bro i'm not doing it to my soul no more if something upset me or something just like what's wrong with people and i feel like i want to speak my opinion nobody's asking you to agree with me if you do, drop it in the comments, isn't it? That's what the blessedness is because you may have experienced it yourself and you're like, it's true. And it might just motivate you to just say, yeah, you got to just keep going, isn't it? You can't expect no one to know your vision. You can't expect under no one to know what God said to you to do. But what you can't also expect is for people you know, all of them, to support you. It's just the reals. So you reach revelation. That's long. So right now, all I'm saying is shout out to all the people that are doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're elevating in your employment, whether you're entrepreneurship, whether you're stepping into something new or you're taking whatever you're doing to another level or you're just bettering yourself as a person. Whatever you're doing that's leveling and elevating, shout out to you, man, because it's not easy. And when you've had some hits and some knocks and some bruises and some brocks... <laughs> Boy, you can't do that but laugh, you know, say, God, thank you. You, do, you can't do nothing. But pick up the phone and say, God, it's just me, you know. I just want to say thank you. You know the ones. God, you all right? Yeah? I just want to say thank you. Yeah, thank you, Father. Thank you. <laughs> you know the ones. Yeah, bro. Bro. Yeah, part two is a bit different still, car. I went to start recording the part, the first part, and yeah, it just kicked out. I don't know what happened, so I had to re-record. So you got like the re like the reverse version of how I'm feeling, but it's still like a troubling thing because it's just not right, in it. And this is why it's important when you're doing anything and the Lord is leading you, lead yourself, okay. I don't know what's all this straight line to success nonsense. The people, it's not, that's a lie. You can't be an experienced driver if you only know how to drive straight. I know you guys know that. You need turns and turns and corners and sharp edges and all of that, yeah, to reach to the mountaintop. It's not no straight ride to the mountaintop. Stop them foolishness there. Stop teaching people foolishness. Because then there's so, how is it? No, nah, let's not go then there. Anyway, listen, there's a part two. Enjoy the part two. <laughs> <laughs> and i'll catch you again you guys i don't know when but i'll catch you again yeah stay blessed all right later love you